to the resolution. We've heard a lot about the need for greater funding for education and human services. What we haven't talked about is how a greater economy, a growing economy with more jobs would help provide those funds. And since I'm a small business owner and I study some of these things, small businesses create more than 50% of all net new jobs. So we need, to, we need more jobs. We need more small businesses that create those jobs. But small business owners who are getting started, those people who just want to get going and they're investors, well, they look at the whole concept. What does this state offer? What does every state that they could go to offer? Will this proposal on the, in front of us today, will this help Illinois compete with our neighboring states and other states across the country when it comes to business creation, investment, and the jobs we're looking for? Well, I did a little research here, and for small business owners, here's how our state ranks. The cost of doing business here puts us at the, as the 48th best state in the country for business. Our work comp costs are the seventh worst in the United States. Our property taxes are either the worst or the second worst in the country. Our litigation costs are the third worst in the country. But currently our income taxes, well, they're only the 28th worst in the country. Notice in no way, shape, or form are we in the, in the top tier of anything here other than the bad factors. But if we go through the process we're starting today, and we change this and we adopt another uh, proposal that would give us an income tax rate at the high end of north of 12%, that puts us in the third worst income tax uh, for, small, for business in the country. So the one thing we could hold on to that was actually in the middle of the road is now near the worst. So while this amendment is being presented as a tax that would only affect millionaires, but millionaires have already shown that they can leave. They have the ability. They're mobile. Chicago in particular has been mentioned before, losing 3,000 millionaires recently. But they take with more than just that money. They take with that tax revenue. And this increase will only accelerate the exodus. So a lot of Illinois middle class jobs that's are supported, that support those middle class families we all care about in this state, they depend on those high income earners that created those jobs. But when those earners and their businesses, along with those middle class jobs leave this state, we'll look back at this amendment and see, that's what left the middle class worse off than they were before we passed what is about to be a massive income tax increase.